In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint all your customers with the same brush. I know they say you shouldn't do that, but that's basically what a mess update is. Okay, so we're in NetSuite now, and I'm going to show you an example where I'm going to be searching for my sales rep and replacing the sales rep with a new one. Okay, so let's illustrate or show you how a mass update works by looking at this Excel spreadsheet. I got a list of NetSuite test cases over here and I got a recommended role. I can, for example, say, I wanna say, I wanna replace all of this data with accountant. Okay, so I got accountant over there and I can take accountant and just replicated across all the data or I can say by criteria wherever there is an actual warehouse manager replace that with accountant so I'll find warehouse manager update that that's literally how a mass update works and as you can see it's usually a static update and not a dynamic update it's not like it can find specific records and then update them with uh, different data. It must always be one value. Okay, so let's jump into NetSuite and see how that looks. So I said, I'm gonna be updating my customers. So here's my customers, and I'm going to perform a mass update on it. So to do that, I go to list, scroll down to mass updates, mass updates again, and I click on that screen. You will then be faced with this following screen, and this is a list of mass updates Net NetSuite can perform, and it's usually across uh, different record types. The best case, or the, 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 the use case most people will use, is usually general updates. And here you will see all the records that you can perform updates on. In my case, it was the company record, or the customer record that I want to update. So I'm going to click on customer and while I'm on this page, I'm going to save this. So I'm going to call this demo DC and that's my cust customer mass update. Then the next thing I want to do is click on the criteria tab and then scroll down to my folder. Now remember on my folder, I'm looking for the sales rep. So I'm going to find the sales rep and the sales rep I want to find is full night. Okay. So when I, when I click on full night, what I can do is to preview the results to see if it's there or what I can do before I preview is just make sure that the sales rep is in there as well. So I'm going to take the sales rep, add it to the actual results that will be returned and just confirm that the sales rep, sales rep is there. Okay, so I'll click on preview. Okay, so currently there is no data. And I know why, let's go back to our criteria, because I'm searching for the real, wrong sales rep. So I'm looking for John Super instead. And then we click on preview again, and there we find all our customers where that sales rep, John Super, is actually assigned. Okay, so let's go back to our criteria and let's go to mass updates. This is the most important part over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go and find my sales rep. So remember, I was I was searching for John Super. I wanna now replace him with full night. Okay, so there is my data. Let's go back. My mass updates is there, and then I can click on preview. And now I can see it's going to find John Super and here it shows me that it will replace it with Phil Knight. Now, I usually recommend that you don't just go ahead and save. First, sa first save this mass update so you can maybe use it again in the future if this is something you will regularly do. So I'm going to click on save. Okay, so now my mass update is saved. So if I want to use this again in the future, you go to list mass update and then saved mass updates when i click on that i will basically see the following screen okay so on the screen i can go and find my dc demo one that i just saved 
and there I can see here's my mass update. I can go straight to preview. There's nothing to, to store re review. And I can go ahead and click on perform update. Okay, so because there's so little data, it already updated everything as we can see. So the mass update is complete and everything is now saved. So I'm gonna click on okay. And the next thing I want to do is actually review the updates. <laughs> so I go to list uh, relationships and click on customers. And there we can see there's all my customers. Remember my sales rep was, um, was uh, John Super. And I now replace my sales rep with Full Knight. Remember, this is very useful. Um, it's not the only case where you can use this. Usually uh, another example will be, for example, sales orders or invoices that have a particular date and you want to change all of that invoices with a new date. And, and that's a, a new, the, you can basically change the, the, the end date of those invoices. So mass updates are very useful and I usually recommend them if you want to make static updates. You made it to the end. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and while you're here, consider watching one of my other videos right here.